Alright, what's up guys? Today we're back with another video and today we're going to be going fishing at the Shim Creek Pier. We're going to be using trout, chicken, paddle tails. I'll see you guys in a second. We just got a hook up. I think it's a nice red. We got it on a little finger mullet. Nice, probably. 20 to 24 inch red. Yeah, that's right there. Today, we tried fishing down at the end of the pier. There's a lot of people and no fish, so we didn't even pull the camera out for that. We walked back, and now we're fishing under the Shim Creek Bridge. Right now, we were fishing for a little while. We didn't have any luck on artificial. We caught one nice red, and now we're tr just trying to catch a live finger mullet, throw it out in between these pilings, and hope to catch a few more reds. Alright, first cast guys, we got a bunch of stuff in there. Alright guys, we have just caught the tiniest little trout. The tiniest trout. Alright, so we're just letting these bobbers float down, popping them back. So to cast it out, and it's just drifting right up against those poles. Alright guys, so we just we were throwing a shrimp on there instead of a little finger mullet. We caught this sheep's head. Uh this is a nice little sheep's head. It's not too big. We're gonna get him back in the water, but we'll show you. He's got some whatever this thing is. Got real creepy teeth right there. Uh, we didn't have the camera rolling for this little puppy drum, but we just caught him. Still got the bait on there, a little mud minnow. And the tide's coming in, so I threw it up in the grass. Right there, nice little blue tail. So today I was throwing a Cajun Thunder Popper orange with a 24 inch fluorocarbon leader tied to a 116 ounce or 1 1 8 ounce uh, jig head. And I was putting a shrimp, pinfish, finger mullet, whatever bait of choice underneath that. And we had a this 20 pound Seaguar Blue Label fluorocarbon. And the rod I was using was a Stratic CI4 2500 with 10 pound white spider wire on a Temple Fork Outfitter GIS SW 7 foot medium light rod. And Davis was throwing a kind of same rig. He does not have a Cajun Thunder, he has an H&H. No, this is a corm, cormel tackle 
a popper with about a 24 inch fl fluorocarbon leader and it's a green fluorocarbon with the same one eighth ounce jig head and he was throwing it on a pen combo the fierce 3000 on the pen fierce 2 rod with 15 pound braid uh, the cast net we we're using today was a Betts Old Salt. It's a short, smaller one. It's only five feet. It doesn't weigh very much. It has a three-eighth inch mesh and it's tied with monofilament. It's a pretty light cast net in terms of cast nets, and it'll last you forever as long as you keep washing it off after you use it. This is what we caught all the bait in today, and that's the bait we use to catch the reds. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video right here on Titan Education.